All right, we're back again, and today is still uh, April the 4th of 2014. I just want to give a little short dissertation about keeping your eyes on Iran and Russia and Israel because they are on the agenda to fulfill Bible prophecy. But before I get to that, let me just address some of the emails that I've been getting from many people asking and requesting books from me, hard copy books, and I just want to let everybody know that I just went to the printer and they are beginning to print up the books but I won't be able to get them back for at least 10 days so if you've asked me for a hard copy of my book please email me in about uh, 10 days and remind me that you did request a book and I'll do what I can to get that book out now if you live outside the United States and you want a book and you don't want to read it on the internet, then just let me know and I have discs that I could send over that are a lot cheaper. The new book has 426 pages in it and it's very costly to send it overseas. So if you do want the book, I'll try my best to get you the book, but it'll have to be in a disc form. Now, I'm also going to give you permission as long as nothing has changed. If, you want, if you're overseas and you want to copy this book, and read it then go ahead and do that since I never charge anybody the only stipulation is you you cannot change anything get my permission before you do that so I'm making it available to as many people as want to read it now getting into the last part of the prophecy news I want to share something with you let me go over to the scripture now this is taken from my book the prophecy about the Ezekiel War. You'll see the invasion against Israel. And there are many verses that I put up there from Ezekiel 38 from 1 through 6, 10 through 11. You'll see them right there. But what I want to do just to shorten up this video for you is in the highlighted blue area you will see the nations who are going to be coming against Israel in the last days. Those nations are Gog, which is the leader of the Russian invasion. So Russia is actually going to lead the invasion against Israel in the last days. And who are they going to be coming with? Well, when you look at the scriptures, you'll learn that it is also right here, Persia. Persia is the Old Testament name for Iran, which as you can see from the map that I just highlighted there, they are in this area over to the right which they'll be coming down against Israel along with Magog from the north and other nations that you see here. Now the Akush in the Old Testament is Ethiopia and Sudan or Sudan, excuse me, a put is Libya and will most likely also include Tunisia, Algeria and Morocco because that's what they were in the Old Testament. And Gomar is East Germany, and in my book I discuss why East Germany will be coming. And then Beth Togomar, which is Turkey and Armenia combined from the Old Testament. So you have a host of Islamic nations that will be coming down against Israel in the last days. But for the purpose of this video, I want to center on the Russians who will be leading the invasion against Israel in the last days. And Persia or modern day Iran. All right. So, since I've been telling you to watch the news events in relation to this, because we see the road being paved, I need to show you the new article that just came out. And of course, here's a better picture of that map. And it shows, I'm going to blow this up, and you can see the nuclear bombs being blown off here. And the reason why I did this is because in Ezekiel 38 and 39, we see that there's going to be an explosion in the Middle East. And that explosion is going to rock the world. And it is going to destroy the armies that come against Israel in the last days. In other words, five-sixths of the invading armies who come against Israel in the last days from these Islamic nations are going to be uh, uh, killed. That's what we see from Ezekiel 38 and 39. So when Iran is really uh, under the curse and they keep saying that they're going to destroy Israel and they're working towards this nuclear bomb, to do that and when we see Russia making an alliance and now making agreements of supporting the nuclear aspect of Iran which I'm going to go over to then that should really 
make you un, uh, want to understand a little bit more, then when you see it happen, you'll know that I warned you from the word of the Lord about it. So let's go over to an article, and you see it right here. This came out from the DECA file, thanks to uh, James Morris, who sent me this article. And it was April the 4th, 2014. Look at this. Russia to back Iran in nuclear talks. Russia's April surprise for the Western sanctions over Ukraine. Now, the world is in an upheaval because the Russians are moving into Ukraine. And, of course, these are end-time prophecies because the Lord told us that wars and rumors of wars. And there were going to be wars. You can read that in Matthew chapter 24 if you want. Now it says this, as the sixth power group and Iran prepared for their third round of nuclear talks in Vienna next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, April 8th and 9th, Tehran frankly admitted to the exploiting the holes in the six-month interim deal they forged in Geneva last November. And Moscow looks like making good on its threat to back the Iranian case in retaliation for West penalties for its annexation of Crimea. So we have the convergence. You can see what's happening. It's being molded together. The very nations who God warned us about are coming together. And look what they're talking about. Nuclear. Put it all together and what do you get? You get the prelude to the Ezekiel 38 war of which there's going to be a massive explosion. In the scriptures, God sanctifies his name. That's why he's got this battle of Ezekiel. He's got a special day, a special moment to carry out this battle that it says he's going to sanctify his name through it. And so if you see a massive explosion, who knows? If this detonation could come as... Not a nuclear detonation, but a act of God that will be such an explosion that melts the skin and the eyes and the tongues off of people that it may look or appear like that it's a nuclear. But here's the bottom line. You have the Russians, you have the Iranians. They're coming together, forging for a nuclear blast and an attack, assault on Israel. This kind of news is not by coincidence. It is showing us we are well on the road to seeing Ezekiel chapter 38 being fulfilled in the very near future.